This is part 54 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what are T4 templates and their purpose, customizing T4 templates. So what are T4 templates and what is their purpose? T4 stands for Text Template Transformation Toolkit. These T4 templates are used by Visual Studio to generate code when we add a view or a controller. So to add a view, we simply right click on a controller action method and select add view from the context menu. This is going to bring up this add view dialog box. Let's say the name of the view is going to be index. We're going to make use of razor view engine. We're going to create a strongly typed view against employee model class. And notice the scaffold template drop down list. Now we have several templates here. These are nothing but the T4 templates. Now let me select list T4 template. And then when I click add, this is going to generate index.cshtml view and then look at the amount of code that is generated now this add view dialog box has used that list t4 template to generate this code for us automatically so the obvious next question is where does these t4 templates live they live at this path look at the um, path you know we have to navigate to program files microsoft visual studio 10 common 7 ide item templates and look at this after item templates there is this um, C sharp folder now if you want to modify the templates for uh, F sharp or visual basic then get into that directory and then within that we have web and then MVC version so which version of MVC are you using if you want to customize the templates for MVC 4 then you would go into MVC 4 folder if you want to customize the templates for MVC 2 then you would go into that folder within that MVC version folder then we have code templates that's where these T4 templates are living So let's quickly navigate to that directory so get into the run window see program files and then within that Microsoft Visual Studio 10 and then within that common 7 IDE item templates and then you have the programming languages here C sharp F sharp visual basic now let's go to C sharp and within that web and within that we have different MVC versions we want to customize the templates for MVC 4 so let's get into the directory there and we have this code templates folder now look at that there are two folders here one is add controller and the other one is add view now we can also add a controller to a project and then when we add a controller uh, there is controller code that's auto generated for us okay now you know when we add a controller these are the t4 templates that are used by visual studio when we add a view then the templates that are present in this add view folder are the templates that are used by visual studio so within add view we have two different folders ASPX C sharp and CSHTML depending on the view engine that you are using you can customize them for example if you want to customize the T4 templates for uh, ASPX view engine then you would get into that folder if it's for razor view then you would get into that CSHTML folder and notice the list of templates that we have look at this this list is going to match with what we have in this add view dialog box so if I right click and say add view and then look at this drop down list you have create delete all the templates there whatever that are present here okay now the next question is what is the file extension for t4 templates it's dot tt so all these t4 templates have that extension is it possible to add your own t4 template to the existing list of templates absolutely all you need to do is create a file with dot tt file extension so let's say you know here we have some existing t4 templates now let's make a copy of this list template and let's paste that so we have list copy tt now if we go back and then if we select add view and then within the drop down list look, look at that we can see you know list copy t4 template there all right so the next question is is it possible to customize these t4 templates absolutely t4 templates can be customized in place meaning we can change them the, the list of templates that are here we can change them here and let's see what's going to happen if we change them here now to change them I'm going to open a notepad I have to run this as an administrator and then I'm going to open one of these templates so file open 
and then we need, need to navigate to this path. So let me copy that path and then paste that within this address bar. And then I don't see any of the templates. That's because by default it's going to show only those files that have got t, uh, .txt extension. But then, but then let's change that to all files. So here we have the list of templates. So let me select that list .tt. Let's open that. Now notice that when we added this index view, it has generated all this code for us. And there is an h2 tag also generated where uh, you know the h2 tag has the name of the view index in this case. Now let's say um, I want to also have a bold tag and then an underline tag. So something like this. Okay, so we want this to be generated like this. Now, to do that, we can customize this list T4 template. So obviously, we na need to navigate to the location where that code is being generated. So this is where that's being generated. So simply, here I'm going to bold that, and I'm going to underline that. Obviously, we have to close those tags as well. So close the underline tag, close the bold tag, save this one. Now let's go back to our MVC demo project. Let's actually delete this index view. And let's add the index view once again. So let's select the list template. Now keep in mind, we have already customized that. So when we click add, it should generate that H2 tag with bold and underline as well. Notice that we get those changes applied. Now, since we have changed these templates within this location, if you have multiple projects that you are creating on this machine, then all of them are going to make use of this customized template. So here I have another project, MVC app. Let me add an index view here. And let's select the list as a scaffold template. Click Add. So this is another project. Look at that. Um, the changes are reflected here as well because all of the projects, you know, Visual Studio by default is going to make use of templates that are present in that location. Now, there, may, there might be situations where you want to customize them only for a specific project. If that is the case, all you need to do is let's undo those changes. So let's get rid of these tags. Let's save it. Let's close this file. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire code templates folder. And then let's go back to our MVC demo. And then let's paste that folder within the root directory. So here, um, the moment we do that, you know, Visual Studio is going to run them automatically. But we don't want to run them, so click on Cancel. Uh, because there are several templates, you're going to get this dialog box a lot of times. So click Cancel, um, you know, to cancel running them. Okay, so we have the code templates folder here. So I'm going to go to Add View and then CSHTML. So we have our list there. And let's say you now we want to modify this to use bold and underline. And let's close those tags as well. Close the underline and close the bold tag. Let's save it. We don't want to run it. We simply want to save it. Okay. And then one more thing that we need to do is get to the properties and then delete this, you know, property value, text template file generator. Now, by deleting this, we are telling Visual Studio not to run this template every time we build a solution. Okay. So we are going to manually invoke you know, this template, the execution of this template using that add view dialog box. So it's going to be manually invoked when my when I say right when I right click on the controller action method add view. So we here we have the add view dialog box. So when I select this list template here and then when I click on add, that T4 template is going to be executed at that point of time. So when I click add, this should generate index view because we already have an index view. Let's actually rename it to index two. And when we do that, look at that, the changes should be applied here because you know the default template is residing within this project directory. 
Now if I go back to MVC app, which is a different project, and here we have we don't have those customized T4 templates, so it's going to make use of the T4 templates that are present, uh, you know, at this path, go templates, add view, um, CSHTML. So here these templates are not customized. So when I add the index view, let's make it index two. You should notice that, you know, look at that for the H2 tag, it, it didn't add that poll tag actually. We didn't select list as our T4 template. Let's do that now. Let's make this index 3. Let's select this careful template as list. Let's add. And look at that. We don't have that bold and underlined text there because it's using the template by default that's present at this location. All right. This slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions. That's it for today. Thank you for listening. Have a great day.